Assalamualaikum learners, how are you? Hope you will be fine. I am Tahira from FW Model School. This is my first lecture for class 6, subject math, unit number 1, introduction to sets. Today we are going to learn about set. In this video, we we'll discuss the topic sets, sets notation, number 3 types of sets. We we'll start with introduction to sets. History of sets. The theory of sets was developed by German mathematician George Cantor. He first encountered set while working on problems on trigonometric series. Set are being used in mathematics problems since they were discovered. Let us understand what we mean by sets. Here we have a definition of set. Set collection of objects of a particular kind such as a pack of cards, a crowd of people, a cricket team, etc. In mathematics of natural numbers and prime numbers, etc. Here we have another definition of set. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Elements of a set are synonymous terms. Sets are usually donated by capital letters. Elements of a set are represented by small letters. Next we have going to learn about set representation. There are two ways to represent set. Roster or tabular form. Number two, set builder form. First of all, we are discuss roster form. Roster form or tabular form. In roster form, all the elements of a set are listed. The elements are being separated by commas and and are enclosed within brackets. For example, here we have some numbers 1 to 10. And we separated this number with comma and we enclosed these numbers with brackets. So we can say that this is a roster form of set. Next, we have a set builder form. In set builder form, all the elements of a set possesses a single common property. In the set builder form, all the elements of a set possesses a single common property which is not possessed by an element outside the set. For example, set of natural numbers. Here we have a set and we represent this set with a capital letter K. Then we can say that X such as that X. X such as X is a natural number. We enclose this set with bricks. Here we have some examples of set in mass N. N donated the set of all natural numbers in ma in mass. Z Z donated all the set of all integers. Q the set of all rational numbers. R represent all the set of real numbers. Z plus the set of positive integers. Q plus the set of positive rational number. R plus the set R plus donate. R plus represents the set of positive real numbers. Now we discuss types of sets. Here we have different types of sets. Empty set, number 2, finite and infinite sets, equal set, number 4, subset, number 5, power set, and last one is universal set. Next, we explain these types of sets. First of all, we discuss empty set. A set which does not contain any element is called the empty set or null set or void set denoted by a sample empty set. Here we have a set, for example, R. Here we use A, capital letter R. And we have a set x such as x, 1 less than x, x less than 2, x is a natural number. Next we have a finite or infinite set, number 2, we have a finite and infinite set. Finite set is set which is, is set which is empty or consists of a definite numbers of element is called finite. Otherwise the set is called infinite. For example, let k be the set of the days of week. So days of week so days of week is a finite number so we can say that it is a finite set let r be the set of points on a line so points are infinite because the points are we cannot count these points so we can say that this is a infinite set days of weeks are finite because we count days of week but points in a line we cannot count so we can say that this is a infinite set next we have a equal set given two sets k and r are said to be equal if they have exactly the same element and we write k equal to r otherwise a set r said to be unequal and we can say that and we write that k not equal to r for example here we have a set and we represent this set k with a capital letter and we have a four numbers one two three and four the other set we have we have an other set and we represent this set a capital letter R. In this set we have also four numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. These set K and R are equal. We can say that these sets are equal because in, in, in two sets we have four numbers and these numbers are equal to each other. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव सबसेट वी एक्सप्लेन सबसेट ए सेट आर इज सेट टू बी सबसेट ऑफ ए सेट के इफ एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ आर इज आल्सो एन एलिमेंट ऑफ के वी एक्सप्रेस दिस नंबर वी एक्सप्रेस दिस सेट विज ए सैम्बल दिस मीन ऑल द एलिमेंट ऑफ आर कॉन्टेंट इन के हेयर के हे वी यूज ए सैम्बल एंड दिस सैम्बल रिप्रेजेंट सबसेट्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव ए पावर सेट द सेट ऑफ आल सबसेट ऑफ ए गिवन सेट इज कॉल्ड पावर सेट ऑफ दैट सेट द सेट ऑफ आल सबसेट ऑफ ए गिवन सेट इज कॉल्ड पावर सेट ऑफ दैट सेट द कलेक्शन ऑफ आल सबसेट्स ऑफ ए सेट के इज कॉल्ड द पावर सेट ऑफ डोनेटेड बाय इन इन पी के एवरी एलिमेंट इज ए सेट हे वी हैव ए एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पावर सेट नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस यूनिवर्सल सेट Universal set is a set which contain all objects, including its self. Universal set is a set which contains all objects, including itself. For example, the set of real number would be the universal set of all other set of the numbers. Next, we discuss subset of R. The set of natural numbers, natural number represent n represent natural numbers. Here we have some natural numbers. One, two, three, four, and so on. The set of integers. Integers represent z in mathematics. Here we have a set of integers. The set of rational numbers. Here we have a set of rational numbers. Members of Q are also including negative numbers. Next, we discuss interval of subset of R. Open interval. The interval denoted as a, b, a, and b are real number. is an open interval means including all the elements between a to b but excluding a and b closed interval the interval denoted as a b a and b are real number is an open interval means including all the elements between a to b but including a and b thank you so much allah hafiz